Let's talk about why we communicate differently and what does that mean for an organization. Communication is what connects us and yet we flounder at it more often than not. Organizations today are filled with millennials who are looking for dynamic, inclusive, two-way communication. And if you are one of those who still believe that an autocratic, limited, top-down communication will enhance engagement and productivity, well, think again. Business has changed and so has communication. However, communication doesn't come as naturally to everyone. In fact, how we've been brought up, who has influenced us as we grew, all these factors hugely impact how we communicate. They say, think before speaking. There are many of us who tend to skip that deep thinking activity and just blurt out whatever comes to our mind. Here are a few of our clients, all of who have communication in their top 10 talents. However, how they use it is very different. Clifton Strengths helps individuals understand their own communication styles. However, that's just the beginning. Coaching based on Clifton Strengths helps redefine their communication talent so that they strengthen it, maximizing its potential to drive success. Let's dive straight in to see how it works. Nikhil is the commercial head of a manufacturing company. As you can see, his communication is the 10th talent amongst his 34 Clifton strengths. He's quite an extrovert and likes to be in the crowd where he can meet new people. While he trusts others readily, his communication often lets out how much he wants to be liked by them. His three other talents, analytical, strategic and ideation, prod him to have different options ready while he is conversing with others to ensure that he's liked. He knows what to speak so as to have common denominators with his listeners. He loves to work with people and via them as well. Facts and data are important for him and he keeps them in mind when he speaks to individuals. He loves to know new people and mingle with those who are strangers to him. For him, everything has a silver lining. Caution: He needs to be aware of not to live in a utopic world all the time. He may get confused with the choices he creates for himself and he needs to stop analyzing too much and sometimes just go with the gut. Kiara is a mid-level manager looking after digital marketing. Her talent combinations are such that she may come across as someone who's quick to look for problems in every conversation. Those who work with her often form the perception that she is very critical of their thoughts and ideas. She does not just look for pitfalls in others' ideas, but is also quick to come up with her own solutions. Her peers believe that she has no faith in their ideas, but believes that hers are the best. She gets bored quickly. So if you go to her with long winding issues, you better make them crisp or she would lose interest in what you're saying. Cyan is a C-suit executive. He has communication as his ninth talent. He has a few close people who he trusts. He doesn't speak unless he believes that there is something important that he needs to share. He's a thinker more and a speaker less. So even though he has communication in his top talent, he's not talkative, unlike Nikhil. In fact, Cyan has very little tolerance for those he considers aren't up to the mark intellectually. As a C-suit executive, he may have a cursory short chat with those in the lower rung of the ladder. However, he is not one to spend time knowing people. He could be one of those who could be perceived as being cliquish. Not everyone would warm up to him easily. When we work with our clients, we look at the upside and the downsides of the talent combinations. Perceptions are important in an organization as perceptions define trustworthiness, team productivity, customer satisfaction and eventually outcomes. If you are looking to enhance engagement within your employees, then you'd need to look at how your organization communicates.